Hello and welcome to Zach 103 TV. Today we are racing at Charlotte in the NCCRS. As you can see, starting pole is the number 16 of Riley Gorse. Right next to him is his teammate in the 33 of Monster. I do believe those are the only two cars on that team. I could be mistaken. Well, I'm out. Might as well check. But uh, today I got my Reggie Fogelman in the booth with me. Hello. Hello to you. Um, this is going to be a 40 lap race. I'm not sure of the percentage. I kind of clicked a little early on that. But uh, it seems fair and reasonable. Um, so we're on that. And uh, to, to correct on that, the 71 and the 29 are also teammates to the 16 and 33. Um, the 71, 33, and 16 are the only ones rookies on that team. Uh, of course, the team itself is kind of new, but uh, the only rookies on that team pretty much. Nimrod, who's in the 29, has been on that team their entire career. And uh, we've got two people making their debut today. Um, we'll go ahead and start with the one that's starting fifth in their first race. That is a 30 of Cooper running for KK Racing. And, uh, he'll be teammates with the 99 and 22, who are starting mid pack and starting together nonetheless. And then also in their debut is the 57 of Simon Oskin. He is on PS Motorsports. His teammate is the 5 and the 07 of Jet, who Jet is also starting in the top 10. Trying to keep, get some consistency going on that 07 car. They just, just haven't been able to find it at all in their uh, NCCRS career, and hopefully they get something going. But that'll be something we're going to have to look for soon, hopefully. But uh, nonetheless, that is it on that. Also, funny enough, that is a third, um, the third Coca-Cola car in the field. We get Coca-Cola, some racing series, then. Ryan Cole with the Pepsi, and then, you know, we got uh, Ryan Cole and Anthony McCord both starting up here. I believe both of them started in the top ten. They were very quick in practice, actually. They both topped the board in practice, so watch for them to be up front here. But I think in terms of qualify, the Dom Patrol Racing rookies have um, punched their ticket in that. However, when it comes to the race itself, that'll be something we'll have to see. Now, this is the first time that I've raced Charlotte with you know custom innies with weather weather in mind i was supposed to do here was a cup race in 2021 that race was won by john reese you know, the races in the series wasn't too good but i think this is going to be pretty good based on the tests i've done so let's uh, see how that goes fps shouldn't be an issue ready uh, where is Mr. Raw Pace himself start today? Oh yeah, Mr. Raw Pace, uh, Frank Sheldon. He, after a very poor finish last week, it has, um, and a pretty good finish by um, Zig Zagoon, it has allowed the points gap to be shrunk to four, or no, not four, eight points between the 06 and the four. They're currently starting six spots apart. If this race were to finish right now where it starts, uh, the points gap would be cut down to two points. Frank Chilton would still have the points lead, but um, keeping in mind all the possible laps led and whatnot, um, it would be very small points lead, and it's still pretty small right now. Um, so they're currently in a position where they need to get a rebound after a couple bad races. Uh, clearly, road courses and dirt tracks don't seem to be their strong point. Old Spice may be the expe exception. That seems to be an exception for most of the road course statistics anyways but um nonetheless um they're starting a little bit better than they were the last couple of races just outside it's just outside the top 20 and zigzagoon keeping some consistency going being one of the two pontiacs in the field pontiac trying to get the points lead in both series even though they're definitely a minority in both series but 10 seconds to the command we'll go ahead and go to our pulser riley gorse and let that go through in about five four Three, two, one, zero. Drivers, start your engines! Command's been given. Well, Reggie, any first thoughts? 
So just see how it goes. Six, seven. I think the entire top ten is rookies. I keep forgetting that half this field is rookies, and then some. Actually, the majority of this field is rookies. Anyway, let's we'll call the green here. I'm trying to keep on with the color for a second. I'm taking this hit. Okay. I said, hold on a second. Oh, I got you. 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 I got Taking third monster who started outside the place and got back quite a bit. Ryan Cole has put in practice in the kind of top five, and Cooper came from third to third, from fifth to third. He's just been in the first race, looking really good for the win. Vince Freeze and Jet 07 back there as well. We're gonna watch that too because it made me pay back when he gets this. Actually, he finished well though, nonetheless. Uh, not top 10. He's looking to continue. Gusty's run since uh, Armory Digital. So, he's always trying to do the same messy to the lead lap. I'm just saying that uh, Vince wasn't happy with him after the race. Just finished him out. Green flag, all the way. Do you think we're going to stay green? 
Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I don't want to jinx it like I did at first. Yeah, it's it's an R it's an R seven three. Jet after being a second may have just jinxed it originally. <laughs> One car just about turns the fifty five and the R seven. Hey, I didn't say it was that, okay. I said I didn't want to shoot you. <laughs> Come on, man. From Ridge Fogelman is very big battle here for the Jets. Third place, fourth place. That is four. We're trying to get some points. They survive it. Still three wide for the biggest. Outside the top ten is Frank Chilton has been there. Zig Zagoon has been keeping the consistency strong and is up to fit. Then Cooper in his debut in third. The game will get the end. These three have seemed to pull away from the rest of the field. Two Dodges, in fact, our top five is Dodge, uh, Dodge, Chevy, three Dodges, and a Pony. Three Dodge behind that, and the Sierra Fox. Any thoughts, Reggie? Okay, so far as the 30, trying to get around the 11. And this is their debut running very well. Early. It's okay. We're already running very well. It's quite a bit of position between them and the one at one. Just take it easy, don't you? The 75 haven't had a very good run all season except for Daytona. Ezreal Dreamer getting up here in the top 10. Just yeah, just inside the top ten. Because he's playing the defense. The eleven has poked his head five card quite a few times at front, but just touched quicker than the eleven. Let's, let's see how we're coming to halfway here. Despite being 40 laps, caution this could feel a little shorter than what it really is. Play his cards right, see what move would be best for him. He doesn't have the draft behind him that would he almost does. That would help him get around this five. And Looks like that five, uh, that short one speed is starting to, to dwindle here. His 06 getting passed by the 87. Interesting to the points they lead enough laps, which right now are looking to lead the most. We could see them do something in terms of points they lead. So, for instance, 75 people who were taken by the for 10th. Look at some of Eric Monk and Zig Zagoon in the fall in front of the four. You know, only one point game. Race is the 101 trainer. Trying so hard is it looks like the three car may have had to pit and a mechanical issue on their side. So they will finish a lot, quite a few laps down actually. It appears they may have had to repair something on the mechanical side. Wild Wolf Motorsports throwing the team. That's just something to keep in mind. More movement up front. It's halfway. See the Fox. Not as much movement as I thought, but it looks like they were trying to get some stuff done. See the Fox trying to take it. Sixteen. Riley Gorsh trying to from 
losing and falling back on the it's like these three cars up front, they, they seem to be faster together, but like draft just seems to be a little bit more important than the pass it seems. And I think that five car is just a little bit better on and off the corners, just it's Lagging back a little bit, use that draft in the aspect of the We'll have to see. Dodges two, three, four right now. Does that come back? I was a little busy. In terms of oh and look, I was about to say in terms of look, not much has changed, but Vince Free has finally made the move. He is confident with where the third is to help him get around the five. And 11 events freeze takes the lead here at Charlotte. Again, the 30 Cooper in their debut. They try to win in their debut. I'm trying to think. I think there's someone who's won done that in the NCCRS as the 30 slips up a bit there. Vince Freeze, he, he's also he's also uh, you me? Sorry, you hear what it said? No, I didn't. I said it was just there last year. Oh, yes, it was just there. Come check out. Yes, it was. One, two, three. The five has been ratted out of that top spot. They, these guys knew they, he did not have a lot of strong cars. So these long run car dodges, mostly single is that, file. Is that Lefty City right there in fourth right now. Also, that three car. Um, keep in mind, he is five laps down. Got fresh retires, so he will definitely affect the racing up here. But he's looking at his last lap at this point. Makes it move his race after. Uh, I'm assuming a mechanical issue that they have. To fix. There goes the 07. 87 blocks from around the 30. Jeremy Frey, yeah. Jeremy Frey, he's also doing well in points, he's also doing good points today, today but uh, looks that, like they're up front. Is that with me? Third. So look who's in third. Looks like it, yeah, but 06. We were talking about this points lead before the race, and I didn't think it was going to be a big shift, but there is eight points separating the points lead. Right 06 in the four, and currently there is less than that. There is less. There's more. There's less than eight separating them. So if this is right now, neither of them have led a lap or done anything. Position. Um, Frank Chilton would still be able to hold that points lead, but it's still lose. Is at 30 starting to fall back a little bit. They've still ran very well today for their debut. Is it three cars getting hit? Guys trying to get around them. Like he isn't as tired as they go. It's so those six. Ooh, messes up on the turn. 30 cuts him quite a bit of slack there. But don't get me wrong, Frank Chilton is running great right now. The consistency, I think it's back. He's running the eighth. Santa Messi, Jack Ross. Ooh, they got way close to that. And kind of just couldn't get this. It's, it's getting serious now. Jeremy is all in the way right now. Jeremy Gray trying to get around these leaders. He's going to pull away from him once he gets around them. He's affecting the race. 
race itself, doing so to get that lap back and try what he can to make a little race. Or him on hook for a yellow, that would be free pass. There's a whole bunch of overtimes in that first time. Right now it doesn't look like that's going to happen. 11 making sure he <laughs> gets some advantage from that three. He's going to hit a little bit. 87, the three seems to be okay. It's around him cleanly. And it looks like the 90 may be off pace in the back. Is the 11 four step high? The 90 is Matthew Hill. Seems to be a little bit of a gap there. Anything in particular that's causing that. Interesting nonetheless. 97 is from that ton. Seven has taken the lead. Quite a few laps led by Vince Fury, but it doesn't matter. Sable Fox has taken the lead. Zig Zagoon has taken second. Now, this race will end right now. Okay, the three is currently in the six. Pulling away. Not a lap. He's a lap card, but he's pulling away, so he's not going to be scared. So he's not going to be an issue. Six laps to go. Reggie, you think there's going to be any more passes? You think 87 might get this? I think Zuzu wants to please take that lead and bring Chilton. The six has been so consistent, and yet the team, I don't think they've won a race yet. They've just been consistent. And working on them, pick up. They did win at Old Spice, so they were looking to get to be the first multi winner of the season. They won this race with 30, wanting to spoil that party and get a dodge win too, whether they're not teammates. Interesting nonetheless. A couple track fast cars trying to get up there in the top 48. Frank Shelton desperately trying to get around some cars. He knows his points lead. Is in jeopardy right now. As the laps are winding down, the 87, who has not really done a whole lot this season in terms of anything. Um, Ricky, of course, trying to get something going. The win here would be pretty good. Trying to get this, this, just finish the race, the three car. Again, we've said it. Oh, the 30 pushing the 06 in the corner. Both rain high. That's going to cause them. I don't know. They might get a run here. So quick enough. Three to go at the line. The 06 holding up the 30. And the 30 going to try to get around. Remember, that Frank Chumman is right there. He's three spots between him right now. White flag. Better by credit one back. I'm not sure why my game's lagging out there. Specifically on this lap, which is the most important one. Ooh, they get Anthony back there by 10 back. Coming to the line. The line. Favorite Fox win. Favorite Fox, first win of the season, first career win. In second place is the, the 30, Cooper in the debut, and Ziggs game third. Great children is in the goal of six, so that is going to be down. Frank Chilton's points lead down to 
Let's see. Uh, Let's see. So no, no. three minus eight is five. So he's going to have a five point lead after this. Oh, race is good. 87. Saber Fox has led it. Um, I think Sandy Messi will get the most laps led, so it'll be a 10 point bonus for him. Um, he didn't finish the greatest, but he finished okay. Keller Sustre um, repeated um, a repeat of Bristol Dirt. Brent Chilton, I think. Captain, or I think. Uh, Mr. Raw Pace is back in business here after those two slump races. His captain consistency may not be faring so well now. And I think uh, the 06 may be our new captain consistency. Is uh, I think he finished third last race too, but he is looking rock solid to chip away at this points lead race by race. Right. Any last thoughts, Reggie? No. I got two thoughts there, Zach. Right? All right. Mr. Frank tripped himself back to his normal. And I want to give a shout out to Track House. Eric, uh, for the third straight week, he's going to top 10. Nice job by Eric Monaco. Anything else? That's it. All right. Well, I ain't got nothing pretty much. Uh, the 87. Their first career win, they did win a Sox race, but uh, now they're forwarding that to their NCCRS racing career. Very well. Dodge is def definitely shown the best to be in, have the best raw pace of any of the other cars all right, all, all, all session. Uh, the Chevy's got the starting position. They fell back, but nonetheless, um, good race overall. The 30 of Cooper, second place in their debut. It was just one spot short, but I think uh, if they can keep some consistency going, they'll have a good um, career going forward. And then Vince Freeze with a good points day as well. He'll come home fifth. And Jack Ross was able to sneak in a fourth place spot here at the NC Sierra Charlotte race. Um, sorry for that lag on the last lap. I'm not sure what happened. I think the game was just all excited and whatever. But uh, we will see you next race. I'm not sure what that is. Here, might as well pull it up while I'm at it. Um, that next race in the NCCRS is going to be at Watkins Glen. That'll probably be a snooze fest, but eh, might be worth watching anyway. We'll see. I uh, found a new. Let's see if the weather. I'll find that weather combination. I have something similar to. For that race, we doing. Are we doing the boot? Or are we doing the kick leg? I don't know. I'll have to look at it later. But then uh, the Cup Series is going to be going to uh, Charlotte as well. It's going to be a twenty percent event race. Yeah, um, Vince Freeze is going to be back for that. It's going to be a middle road energy, I believe 250. And I'll be in the And I'll be yeah. <laughs> but, uh, As for me, Reggie Fogelman and NCCRS, this is NCCRS Charlotte. Congratulations to Sabre Fox. We'll see you next race.